are in the market for any cheap, fast, reliable NBA Live mobile coins, head on over to golden.com in the description and use code JD at checkout for 3% off. Whatever your excuse is, I am not buying it. You are awesome and I am JD's. How's it going, Jackson? and welcome back to the channel for some more NBA Live mobile. We have got ourselves a 95 overall Larry Bird review. Now, during this All-Star promo, it has absolutely been the greatest promo they have done so far. And I mean, so if you were able to get, now I didn't get the Elite token super, super fast, but I got it faster than a lot of other people. So you were, if you got it really fast, you were able to make so many coins off of this promo. Now, I don't have Blake Griffin and I don't have Andrew Wiggins, as I was able to, actually, I do have Blake Griffin, I forgot. I bought Blake Griffin back for like 2.9 million, but when I completed them, I sold them for 7.5 million. So I was able to sell those, I was able to sell Wiggins for about 7.5 as well. So Henry Wiggins are both gone. I did not get Wiggins back, obviously, because I'd like my 95 Kawhi Leonard, but I did go ahead and get back my Blake Griffin for 2.9. So it was just amazing making coins on this promo here. So many elite cards early on going for well over two and three million. So even the 92 of rolls were going for a lot at the time. Then it started to bottom out at about, you know, six, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, things of that nature. But definitely made well enough to get this uh, Larry Bird here. And I was even able to get a couple of my T-Max back as I did sell some of them before uh, during another promo um, or like maybe like a couple months ago, like whenever new packs or something came out. I was selling T-Max like crazy. Uh, I was able to get two of them back. I was at least able to get two of them back, so I'm, I'm happy about that. But the teams are looking really, really nice. Actually, as of right now, this defensive lineup is my favorite team to play with. With Jonas, Kawhi, Kevin, Steph, and James Harden. It's literally just shooters everywhere on this lineup. I absolutely love it. And the two-way lineup, this Carl Anthony Towns in this two-way lineup is absolutely insane. And I guess this lineup is a bunch of shooters as well. As this Draymond Green does have 82-3 uh, along with 83 shooting. But this Towns here, this man with 85-3 and 88 shooting is absolutely insane. Plus the plus the defense and a 95 defense. Just an absolute insane card. Like these, these all-star cards are really, really nice. But that is not the focus today. That's focus is this 95 overall. Larry Bird, Larry Legend, the man was absolutely fantastic. In the, th the three-point competition in 1988, Bird had one of the greatest moments in all-star history. Man's got 74 speed, 84 dribbling, 95 three-pointer. He's got 80, um, 83 shooting, along with 82 defense and 85 passing. And the man is six foot nine. So very, very nice, of course. Henry Magic Johnson battling it out <laughs> back in those days, man. It was absolutely great to go back and watch some of those epic battles. Wish I could have watched those live. That would have been awesome to see Bird and Magic going at it live. Uh, but obviously not old enough for that. But definitely watching the old highlights of those guys. Absolutely fun. So we're going to dive into some head-to-head -head right now and see how this Larry Bird gets along. Of course, right off the bat, we find a 98 overall all-star lineup here. He's got Ross, Steph, Wiggins, he's got Blake Griffin, and he's got Carl Anthony. Town, so let's see how he stands up against Mr. Wiggins. And you can see Wiggins does outpace him in just about everything, but we do have the good three pointer, we do have the good shooting. Uh, but of course, the All Stars had that lineup boost as well, so it's gonna be all right. They got a plus nine shot and a plus nine three pointer, so it's gonna be pretty tough. But you know what? This will be a great test. For the legend. Of course, if you know anything about Larry Bird, the man was known as, he was just a sniper. He was an absolute sniper. That is what Larry Bird did best. He was a shooter of the highest order, and he is starting the game off right with a two-pointer. Once again, these referees always, always trying to shatter the dreams of a three-pointer by saying one toe on the line. Like, come on, ref. You can't keep doing that. Steph Curry, don't think someone, Steph's going to flip it in anyways. That is the power of the 96 overall, Steph Curry. We're going to step in again. This time it is a three-pointer, and Larry Legend is knocking this one down now. All righty. Time to play some good defense. We've got to stop this team. This team is an amazing squad, and we have got to stop them right now. As Towns are just sitting there waiting for a steal. Like, I think that's what they coded in, for the big men to just wait for steals. That way they can get right in there and swoop it up the second that it, uh, it pops out. 
So these guys are scoring uh, tip the titles with us. But right now, we are putting up threes while they're putting up two. So eventually, we are going to outpace them. But we've got to stop this onslaught from these guys in the lane of Russell Westbrook. These guys, oh my. We are getting torched right now in the paint. And they're leaving Larry Bird wide open. Why? I have no clue at all. Like, that is the last guy you want to leave wide open for three. Like, what are you doing? But we've got to stop these guys, though. If we have to double team, then we'll have to double team. But we can't let Towns go defense. There we go. No, but we're never getting the rebound, though. There you go. Larry Bird snagging the rebound there. McGrady, get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, wide open again. No one's stepping up on Bird at all. Larry Bird is just going to, hey, he is quite content with sitting back there, scoring all these points on you guys. That is quite fine with him. Good rebound there by Russell, of course. Big Bill Russell, a Celtic uh, member himself. I was going to pick up Kevin McHale as well, but I figured, you know what, that's all right. I don't want to go out of my way to uh, spend too many coins as Bird does finally miss a shot. So this man does miss, finally, but he was on a nice streak there to start out. Good defense by Russell, and somehow Jimmy Butler steps out of bounds and is not faced by it at all. Oh my, Jimmy Butler's the man. He is the man pump fake on Steph. You can't stop it, Steph. You can't do it. As we're gonna knock it down. Oh, we should've went for the buzzer beater. We should've went for the buzzer beater as uh, Russell's gonna get the last shot. Hopefully he's gonna miss. Yes, he is. 17 points by Mr. Bird there. Very, very nice. 17 to 6, really without even trying. So hopefully, let's try to score 23 points in the next one. All right, you chaps, so I picked this lineup strictly because it's the Lakers. And the Lakers and Celtics have a long running history um, of running into each other in the finals. So very, very good. We wanted to go up against this. Too bad uh, there wasn't. Too bad this uh, guy did not have Magic Johnson on his team as well. That would have been really nice to see Magic and Bird going at it one more time. That would have been very, very nice. But he's got the 95 Steph, 94 Tracy, 95 Melo, Anthony Davis following, and he's got the 95 Yao Ming. So we'll be going up against Carmelo Anthony. You see Anthony's got us in dribbling. He's got us in speed. He's got us in shooting. And he's got us in defense. But of course, Larry Legend outpacing him in the three-point category along with passing as well. So there we go. We're doing pretty good. So hopefully Lakers versus Celtics. Hopefully the Celtics, well actually the Celtics are going to come out on top. Larry Bird will drop 23. And let's dive into it. All right, chaps. So 23 is what we are going for. We are trying to we're trying to knock down 23 in this quarter. Larry Bird starting us off right. The last game we'll do we'll do some going to the rim with him. I mean, Larry was all right at the rim. He was all right. He wasn't the greatest like as as contact shots and stuff like that. He was more of a shooter, but he could he, he could get the lane when he could. When he did, he was pretty decent in the lane. Yao Ming trying something, but no. Larry Legend didn't grab that ball there. So if we're gonna score 23, we've got to shoot. Awfully quick, and we've got to make every one count as Larry Bird. The defense was pretty strong there. Jumped pretty high to try to block that shot, but not able to do so. As the man is six foot nine, so it is a little bit difficult to stop that shot. There we go. Get it to Bird. Get up the court. Larry Bird. Don't want to overrun the three point line. Oh, oh, I think that's a two. That's a two. No, he's going to miss it anyways. No. Oh, I don't know how he missed that shot. He's like wide. Oh, he was like past wide open. It's got to be Larry. It's got to be Larry. No one else is allowed to shoot the ball right now. Oh, Larry, no, did not want to fade. But he's still going to knock it down. Okay. Perhaps he just wanted to show that he can fade away. He had a pretty decent fader as well. He had a pretty decent fadeaway shot uh, in his day as well. Of course, that crazy play when he's falling out of bounds and then flips it back in. That was like one of the craziest plays I've ever seen from Larry Bird. Pulled it again. This time, what? No, no. He is off. He is now. Now his shot is off. Perhaps he's just being overused right now. I don't know. But we've only got eight points, and we've only got 45 seconds left to go. So 23 may not happen. Who knows? Unless Larry Bird just goes on a crazy spree. Yao Ming, that is not good. If Yao Ming decided to jump there, I don't think there was any chance of that going over top of him. Oh, my. Just, just, a, just a mammoth of a man. Seven foot six. Like, that's not even fair. Like he, if he was in the days of Wilt Chamberlain, he would have been like, well, he, I mean, it would have been crazy to see him and Wilt Chamberlain go up against each other. That would have been awesome to see how they dominate back in Wilt's era, man. That would have been absolutely crazy. With no three seconds in the paint rule, Yao Ming would have ruled the day. He would have, what? No, what is with all these blocks now? Give me that ball back. There we go. Pull the three. That's what we're talking. No, what? Why is Larry missing now? No. Larry Bird, there we go. I'll just say, what is Larry missing so much now? 
I think I think EA is literally nerfed me now. They said no. He's having far too much fun with this Larry Bird card. We've got to nerf him mid-game. I thought Russell had that on a block. Steph Curry's gonna knock that down. And we only scored 14 of the 23 we wanted. We fell nine short, guys. Ah, oh, it's all right, though. In the next game, we're gonna go to the rim. See what Larry Bird can do at that rim. Alrighty, so I figured we'd go back to yet another, since everyone on the list literally has this 98 overall all-star lineup. I figured let's just go back and play another one for the last game. Might as well do it against the best possible lineup possible uh, in the game. So uh, yeah, we're gonna dive into it and uh, see what Bird can do against Wiggins at the rim. Alright, gotta win this tip off. There we go. Get it to Bird. No, nope, well, we're, we're, gonna, we're getting ready to throw the ball away is what we're getting ready to do. That is what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to throw this ball away. Larry Bird starting it off with a nice lay-in. Westbrook going to the deck there. Oh, you know, hey, Bird said, get out of the way. Get, I've got things to do, and I don't have time to wait for guys named Russell Westbrook to get out of the way. There we go, Steph, if he makes that. No, I'm about to say, if Steph would have made that, defense is there. Literally five guys jumped, or three guys at least jumped, and then nobody was able to block that. Bird again, look at these, he's getting fancy on these guys. Oh no, there we go. Larry Bird getting fancy. No, what? No, <laughs> guys. Two guys underneath, nobody wants to turn around and uh, stop Mr. Curry. Let's see, oh, Bird in the lane. Oh, that's what we want to do. We did not want to pull that shot. No, that's not what we wanted to do. I wanted to cross, go to the middle, and then, oh, there we go. There we go, that's a steal. That's a steal. Get it to Larry. Oh no, he's like, he's, what, what are you trying for, Larry? No, it's the same thing KD would do. Whenever I first got KD, that's what he would do as well. Larry Bird, not gonna make that. Take the mid-ranger, knock that down. All right, all right. So we're, we're gonna keep going to the rim. We're gonna keep going to the rim, although it doesn't look promising. If he's wide open, obviously, anyone can do it wide open. But then I've seen some guys miss that wide open as well. Curry, not gonna happen. Let's see, Bird again. Bird, Larry, nope. Larry Bird again. Oh, takes the contact. And no, not able to do it, as he's got some strong defense there. This 96 player's got really good defense, so ah, that's, pretty, that's pretty difficult. Which is funny because in the All-Star game, no one plays defense. And la the last All-Star game was a showing that nobody plays defense in an All-Star game. And you literally almost have 200 points. That's crazy. You're not playing defense at all, so I don't know. There we go, Larry. <laughs> the spin move is the most effective move in the game. I don't know. I just love using it. It's literally the best move to get past people in the game. It looks the best as well. Although that one quick crossover really does look nice, but it's, it's kind of hard to pull it off sometimes. It's really kind of hard to pull it off sometimes. You, know, you can do the step back move, you can do that move there, and try to make yourself... But I mean, when it comes to the spins, the spins are the best move to get past people. Like, that is the best. So five or four, we didn't get the rim too, too much. But still, Larry Legend... I actually have a chance to tie this. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it, but it looks like he is going to miss it anyways at the buzzer. So the Washington Wizards will fall. The all-star lineup is going to lose yet again. Although they only they put up eight points though. They will only put up ten, so you know what? That wasn't too bad for them. That wasn't too bad for them at all. But you know what? All in all, this bird card is really Really good. He's really good. And in this lineup with Bill Russell, Jimmy Butler, along with Chase McGrady, and Russell Westbrook, very, very nice. I was so happy to replace this Mellow. I'm, I'm telling you, maybe you guys like Global Mellow, but I really don't like him that much at all. I really don't like him at all. He just does not play well. He's not consistent from three. He's not much consistent from mid-range, and I'm talking wide open. I'm not even talking contested shots. I'm talking wide open, like I said, he plays like a beast for some people, but for me, I, I don't know what his vendetta is, I don't know, I tried to talk to him last night, he wouldn't uh, answer his phone, so I was like, you know what, fine, fine, I'm getting bird, you're sitting on the bench, that's all there is to it. You know, I wish I could get some coin value out of him, but I can't, which I, I could get coin value, but it would only be 500 coins, but that would be insanity to a quick seller 92 overall player, even though he frustrates me. Uh, to no end, but anyways, yeah, this very bad definitely, like I said, I paid like, I paid 7.5 million for him, so definitely worth it in my opinion, of course, he's gonna get cheaper as time goes on, he's probably already cheaper now, but I just wanted to get him for the review, uh, because there was only one up on the auction block, and I feared that if I didn't get him then, then someone was gonna buy him, and then put him up for, uh, even more, so I didn't want that to happen, so we went ahead and picked it up for 7.5, but these lineups now, absolutely crazy, and one thing I noticed, 
is that I don't have LeBron James anywhere in these lineups, which is absolutely crazy. Usually I have LeBron somewhere on some lineup, but there's literally no spot for LeBron James as Kawhi Leonard is the man here, so no supremacy LeBron. Uh, obviously the center LeBron for the defense of Giannis Antetokounmpo is crazy, and I don't have the 95 LeBron that I think goes in the, um, what, what lineup? Is it a two-way? Is that two-way where 95 LeBron is? But uh, he's always too expensive, so I could have LeBron in the two-way, I think. I think the 95 is a two-way one. Um, I would have him there, but he's just way too expensive. Like 11 million, 14 million. I'm not paying that much. I'm really not. And plus, I'd have to hock off too many players to be able to afford them, which I'm not going to do that either. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this Larry Bird review. If you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, chaps, you are awesome. And I am Jay Thiesel.